Okay, let's get started. We need to review the new applicants for Jason's old job. Well, let's begin by discussing who's the top candidate on each of our lists. I want to be sure to get everyone's input on this. Dave, which candidate did you like? I like the applicant from Chicago. Um, he has good education, he has a great Northwestern, and he scored a 95% on the selection test. I remember him. Yeah, he does have good test scores, but look at what the interview notes say about him. Nice guy, but doesn't seem interested in the position. Do we really want to hire someone who isn't interested in the job? Actually, that's an excellent point, Sue, and I'm glad you brought it up. Um, I think we need to discuss more than just test scores. Uh, remember what happened with Elena? I mean, she had fantastic test scores, but absolutely no people skills. And needless to say, she was a pain to work with. I think we need to pay close attention to what the applicant's letters of reference say. Um, what do this applicant's letters of reference say, Dave? Uh, I think they were good. Well, you're the folder. Why don't you take a look and check? <coughs> well, actually, his letters don't say much about his personality. In fact, they barely touch on subject. One says, generally, a good person to work with. Is that all they have to say about his personality? Um, that's about it. Just says that he's above average as far as working with people goes, and they keep emphasizing his technical skills. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, this is a public PR sort of job, so our applicant has to work well with people. Um, you know, this guy from Chicago may be good behind the scenes, but for this job, I'm not really so sure. Uh, I think we should move on to the next applicant. Are you sure that's the right decision? Well, I know we're making a big assumption about this person's personality, but considering the time pressure we're under and the large number of applicants we have to go through, I think we have no other choice but to eliminate people this way. Okay. I think that Bob is really looking at it the right way. We do need to consider all aspects of each applicant. Uh, all right, well, let's move on to the candidate from New York. I see here she got a degree from NYU. Previous experience looks good. Her letters of reference are glowing, but I don't see the notes from her interview. No, I didn't see them in her folder. I don't know if she's gone through the interview yet. Well, Libby, after this meeting, get on the phone with uh, Human Resources and find out, you know, tell them we're missing these, uh, these interview notes. Um, we have to make this decision relatively quickly and we get all the information we can get. Okay, I'll do it after lunch. Thanks for doing that first, Libby. That's a big help. We need to start going through this list and eliminating people. Dave, you have the folder for the applicant from Pittsburgh. I, I seem to remember that he had weak credentials. Check on his experience in education. <clears throat> he has very little work experience and only two years of college. Well, the, the guy from Pittsburgh's out. And I also have some concerns about that woman from Albany. Um, maybe we haven't heard from you. Tell us about her. Well, she doesn't have her degree yet. Um, I really don't see any relevant training. I think we should eliminate both of them. Well, we need to have everyone's input on this. What the rest do you think? I agree. We both have. Yeah, I agree too. Hey, Dave, take notes on who, we've, on who we've eliminated, and then uh, give them to Martha so we can notify the appropriate candidates. Okay. I'll tell Martha just to send them a standard rejection letter. Okay. Now, I also don't like this guy from California. Um, Sue, you have his folder. Mm -hmm. Look to see if the interview went as bad as I think it did. Yeah, the uh, interview didn't go so well. And also, his, his test scores are marginal. Yeah, I'm not an advocate of hiring people simply on the basis of the test scores, but I don't like the idea of hiring someone with test scores as low as this guy has. Have we ever hired anyone with test scores this low? Can't think of any. I don't think so. Well, for fairness reasons, we need to verify that. Bob, get a hold of our testing records and verify that. Okay, I'll make a note. I think we should eliminate any candidates who don't meet the minimum score level. Middle score on the test. Um, we need to shorten the list, and I think that's a good way to do it. I agree. I guess that's why they call it a minimum score. Well, I think that's a good idea, Dave. I think that's a smart way to proceed. That eliminates the guy from California. Let's discuss the candidate from Pennsylvania next. Dave, what information do you have on her? <clears throat> the woman from Pennsylvania looks very promising. Um, graduated in the top five, top five percent of her class. Excellent experience, good letters of reference. Uh, actually, listen to this. Julie is a, is a joy to work with, among the best I've ever seen. And she scored a 90% on the selection test. Does it say anything about her willingness to relocate? 
Um, yes, it says she's willing to move here. Well, I think this candidate should be one of our top picks, but I still like the applicant from New York. Um, what do the rest of you think about waiting to get the energy notes? I think that sounds reasonable. Um, both candidates sound good. We can't make a final decision without all of the information. Libby, we haven't heard your opinion. Do you think, you, do you think we have to uh, you know, look at other candidates? No, I think these two are our top applicants. But we do need to wait on the information from that one interview. Dave, call the applicant from New York and make sure that she has gone through the interview. Um, Libby's already calling human resources about this, but I don't want to burden her too much. Okay. Guess we're done.